Welcome viewers to the fourth segment of the first lecture for the online series of lectures for the course of Algebraic Topology 1. In this segment, we are going to prove the associativity part of Theorem 1. To do that, let F G H be three paths in X such that F of one is equal to G of zero and G of one is h of 0, meaning that the, the final point of f is going to be the same as the initial point of g and the final point of g is going to be the same as the initial point of h. So that f star g star h and f star g star h both are defined okay so we now at this point need the definition of triple product okay between these three paths triple product between these three paths. Okay. F, G, and H. Okay. For this, uh, choose uh, two points A, B in I such that A is greater than zero and B is greater than 1, uh, B is greater than A, at the same time B is less than 1, okay, so 0 is less than A, A is less than B, and B is less than 1, okay, this is how we choose A and B in the closed interval I, okay, now define a path Which we call, which we denote by k sub a comma b from i to x, where x is a given topological space in the following way. K sub a comma b at s is going to be equal to f composed with P twiddle 0 comma A evaluated at S as long as S belongs to this interval from 0 to A and this KAB at S is going to be equal to G composed with P twiddle A comma B at S when S belongs to this interval a from a to b and k a b is h composed with b twiddle b comma one when s belongs to the interval between b and one okay Good. Now, uh, so we did not define this P twiddle guy yet. So let me do that now. Okay, I need some space. Uh, let me erase this top part where P twiddle 
from 0 to A is a map from 0 to A from the interval from 0 to A to I okay with P twiddle 0 comma A at 0 is equal to 0 and P twiddle sub 0 comma A at A is equal to 1 all right in other words P twiddle 0 comma A maps the interval 0 comma A to the interval 0 comma 1 this, this such a map is called positively linear map okay all right and you see that here we have P twiddle 0 comma A and F um, composed with P twiddle 0 comma A just to check quickly that is a map from 0 comma A to uh, to X right since F is a map from F is a path which means that F is a map from I to X so the composition is the map from 0 from this interval 0 comma A to X okay so uh, uh, you see that in, in, in this part K follows from the the formula for K is given by this expression okay which makes sense we just quickly checked it okay now um, so okay, we don't need it just wanted to check it and um, P twiddle a comma B is the positive linear map mapping this interval to the interval 0 1 with P uh, twiddle A comma B at A is equal to 0 and P twiddle A comma B at B is equal to 1 and finally P twiddle B comma 1 is the positive linear map mapping B comma 1 to the interval 0 1 with P twiddle B comma 1 at P is being 0 and P twiddle P comma 1 at 1 is equal to 1 okay so this is how you define these three maps okay let me draw the graphs of this map okay. so let me erase this definition now see that uh, if, if I try to draw the graph then the first one is that of P twiddle 0 comma a at s and along the x-axis is s and s varies between uh, 0 to a for this function so let me draw from 0 to 1 first and you know um, I have uh, you know I have this thing from which I have to place a somewhere here and B somewhere here and if this is 1 along the y-axis then from 0 to A it has to be a straight line like this okay okay it has to be a linear map from the point 0 0 to a comma 1 
and it's obvious that the expression of this linear map as a function of s is going to be 1 over a times s, right? Now, for the second one, This is the second map, uh, p twiddle a comma b at s. Similarly, one half from zero to one, and uh, a is here, b is here, and this is y equal to one. And this map is like you know between a and b. this straight line okay okay uh, using the standard uh, formula for straight line between two given points like you know x1 y1 to x2 y2 right the equation of the straight line is this equation that passes through these two points the equation of the straight line passing between these two, passing from one point to another point, is written as y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 times x minus x1, from which it follows that the equation can be written down as p twiddle a comma b at s is equal to 1 over b minus a times s minus a over b minus a okay and finally we have again along the x-axis is s this is a this is b this is 1 and this is y equal to 1 and along this y-axis we have p twiddle b comma 1 at s and it's just uh, this straight line okay, between B and 1. And uh, using this formula, this equation, this linear equation is given by B twiddle B comma 1 at S is S over 1 minus B minus b over 1 minus b okay okay now the path k sub a comma b depends on the choice of a and b how you choose a and b between 0 and 1 okay a can be very close to B, it can be very far from B lying in the interval 0, 1. It depends on your choice, okay? So, the, the, the definition of K, A, K sub A comma B will depend on your choice of A and B. That's right. But the homotopy, but the, but the path homotopy class of K A B, path homotopy class, class of KAB that we denote by KAB inside the square bracket does not depend on our choice of A and B. That's the most interesting part. Okay. And we need to show it. Okay. So this is what we are going to do by choosing two different points C and D between 0 and 1. Okay. So A comma B is, is a pair uh, of points between 0 and 1 such that A is less than 1. Uh, sorry, A is less than B. Now we cho choose similarly two points C and D, two distinct points, of course, such that C is less than D and both C and D lie between 0 and 1. 
and show that and, and, and write the formula for KCD okay and show that KA comma B is path homotopic to KC comma D then we are done proving that there uh, you know the path homotopy class of KAB does not depend on our choice of A and B okay this is what we are going to do okay uh, Right, and um, okay. So we have already defined k a comma b, right? So k c comma d can be found just by replacing a and b with c and d re respectively. Okay, so this way we can write k c d by just replacing a with c and b with d here as well. Okay. So now we, at this point, we will define um, another map. Let me erase everything. We define um, the map P from I to itself by P of S to be equal to P zero comma A at S when S is in this interval P sub A comma B at S when S is between A and B and P of S is equal to P sub B comma 1 at S when S is in this interval okay with I have to define this this maps okay P 0 comma A is a map a positive linear map uh, that maps this interval 0a to this interval 0c given p0 comma a at 0 is equal to 0 and p0 comma a at a is equal to c now p a comma p is a map positive linear map mapping a comma b the interval a comma b the interval c comma d given p a comma b at a to be equal to c and p a comma b at b to be equal to d okay and p b comma 1 to be the map from uh, the interval b comma 1 to the interval d comma 1 given p b comma 1 at b to be equal to d and p b comma 1 at 1 equal to one okay good we need the picture so we do it the same way we did before So this is a zero, this is one. So this is zero, this is one. Then um, 
say this is A, this is B, and this is C, this is D, okay? This is again 0, 1, this is D, this is C, this is A, this is B, this is 1, okay? And finally, we need three graphs, right? This is C, this is D, this is A, this is B, this is 1. Oops. So, um, the first graph is that of uh, B, P0, comma, A at S. And along this direction, along the x direction is S for all three graphs. This is going to be the graph of P, A comma B at S. And this is going to be the graph of P, B comma N, 1 of S. Okay. So for the uh, first graph, uh, 0 comma a is going to map to 0 comma c okay so that um, p 0 a at 0 is 0 and p 0 a at a is going to be equal to c here so this is the equation and it's immediate that the equation is p zero comma a at s is equal to c over a right times s okay now for the next one p a comma b is going to map a the interval a comma b to the interval c comma d right so this is the initial point and this is going to be the final point, right? And this is going to be the required straight line. So the equation for this thing, this straight line is going to be P A B at S is going to be equal to using the um, equation of straight line passing through two points is going to be equal to d minus c over b minus a times s minus a plus c okay use the of the the formula of a straight line passing between two points okay you can find this and now Finally, B1 is going to be mapped to D1 okay. So this is the straight line that we are looking at And the equation for this straight line P sub B1 at S is going to be equal to 1 minus D over 1 minus B times S minus B okay plus D okay so we have the explicit expressions for these maps okay the p maps we call them the p maps and the previous maps the p twiddle maps okay now we we we, we are going to verify um so i think i'll erase this part 
I'm not drawing the picture again here, but I need the expression for the p-twiddles. Okay, so what were, what were the p-twiddles? So the p-twiddle uh, sub 0 comma a at s was 1 over a times s and the p twiddle a comma b at s is equal to 1 over b minus a times s minus a over b minus a and p twiddle b comma 1 at s is equal to s over 1 minus b minus b over 1 minus b. Okay. So th these are, so we have six expressions altogether. Three expressions for p map and three expressions for p twiddle maps. Okay. So in the note you will find p twiddle prime as well. I think it, that's redundant. We, we don't need to 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 consider those three maps. Actually, we just need uh, these two types of maps, p and p twiddle. Okay. Now verify that p twiddle. C comma D composed with P A comma B is equal to P twiddle A comma B. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that I have C and D in the p-twiddle map, but suppose I want to go to uh, A, A and B from C and D respectively, how do I go that there? By composing p-twiddle with C comma D with P A B, we can go to p-twiddle A comma B. Okay? And we need to show that this holds okay so let's try to find it the left hand side is equal to p twiddle c comma d of p a comma b of s right Now, using the twiddle formula, right, this formula, we are going to write it as um, 1 over b minus a and replace s with P sub A comma B at S sorry I think I made a mistake so I'm writing the twiddle formula here for C and D okay so it has to be 1 over um, B minus A so it has to be D minus C okay And for S, we have to have P A comma B at S minus. Now we have C and D here, so we have to have D minus C in the denominator and C in the numerator. Okay, so this is going to be one over D minus C. Now I use the formula for P A B from here. It's going to be equal to D minus C over B minus A times S minus A plus C. Okay. 
minus minus c over d minus c okay good so i do this uh, simple algebraic manipulation to have s minus a over b minus a plus c over d minus c minus c over d minus c they cancel out and finally i have 1 over b minus a times s minus a over b minus a which is what which is the twiddle a comma b of s right so we verified this one now I erase this so we just verified that so let me write down what I have verified I just verified that P twiddle C comma D composed with P A P is equal to P twiddle A comma B okay now we verified it I'm going to keep it so now now I verify the following P twiddle 0 comma C composed with P 0 comma A is equal to P twiddle 0 comma A okay so I have to prove that this holds for all S okay so the left hand side here is P twiddle 0 comma C at P 0 comma A at S okay so what is the formula for P twiddle by using the formula for P twiddle I'm gonna write it as 1 over uh, so uh, this is P twiddle 0 comma A but I have P twiddle 0 comma C so I should have 1 over C here and for S I have to write this guy right P 0 comma A at S okay and this is going to be equal to 1 over C and P 0 A 0 comma A at S is C over A times S which is 1 over A times S which is equal to P twiddle 0 comma A at S right we are done proving this so we also proved P twiddle 0 comma C composed with P 0 comma A is equal to P twiddle 0 comma A so let me raise this mark now Finally, I'm going to show that P twiddle D comma 1 composed with P D comma 1 at S is equal to P twiddle B comma 1 at S. Okay take left hand side again and see that P twiddle D comma 1 at P B comma 1 of S is equal to now I take the formula for P twiddle see that this is going to be 
p d comma 1 s because my s is this guy now divided by 1 minus b here I have d so that this is going to be 1 minus d I need to charge up my laptop Good. So, um, so this is 1 minus d and then minus 1 minus d in the denominator again and I have d here. Okay, so this is 1 minus d times what is pb1? pb1 is 1, min 1 minus d over 1 minus b times s minus b plus d minus d over 1 minus d which is equal to s minus b over 1 minus b plus d over 1 minus d right minus d over 1 minus d which is just s minus b over 1 minus b which is the same as this one, right? Is equal to p twiddle b comma one hat s. So we also prove this one p twiddle d comma one composed with p b comma one is equal to p twiddle b comma one. Okay. So let me raise this top part again. Okay, so now um, um, what is uh, uh, so remember the expression of KAB? Uh, so by replacing uh, a with C and B with D, we get get the formula for KCD of S, which is which is as follows, which is uh, F composed with P twiddle zero comma C. at s when when s is in this interval 0 comma c and this is equal to g composed with p twiddle c comma d at s when s is in this interval between c and d and this expression is equal to h composed with p twiddle d comma 1 right at s when s is between d and 1 okay so this is kcd okay so from this we immediately see that KCD composed with P at S. We have defined P earlier. Use the definition of P to see that. Remember that P was defined as, I think I am not going to need these things anymore. So let me erase this bottom part now. Okay, so remember that we we defined P, the map P from I to I in the following way. Um, P S was equal to P 
0 comma a at s when s is between 0 and a and is equal to p a b at s when s is between a and b and is equal to p b comma s when s is between um, b and 1 this is how i define p okay so uh, uh, k c d composed with p is going to be equal to f composed with p twiddle 0 comma c composed with p 0 comma a evaluated at s when s is between uh, 0 and c and is equal to g composed with p twiddle c comma d composed with p a comma b evaluated at s when s is between c and d and is equal to h composed with p twiddle d comma 1 composed with p p right p um b comma 1 right at s when s is in Well, I think I have to change these things, right? Why? Because KCD composed with P is, is, is a map from where to where. Um, P is a map. right P is a map from I to I given by this formula so it has to be from 0 to A and this has to be from um, A to B okay right and this has to be from uh, B to 1 Okay, because of the composition right because the the first thing in the composition is p0 a p a b and p b b p b 1 so s has to lie between these these pieces okay okay so far so good so now this is going to be equal to by using these equalities, I can write them as f composed with p twiddle a comma b, sorry, uh, p, uh, p twiddle 0 comma a at s when s is in this interval and this is going to be equal to G composed with P twiddle A comma B at S when S is in this interval and this is equal to H composed with using this one um, P twiddle B comma 1 at s when s belongs to this interval okay
good. So this is what we get after um, composing this function with this function. Okay, good. So, but what is this? Tell me. This is precisely k sub a comma b at s. Okay. So we just showed that k a comma b is equal to k c comma t composed with p this is what we have shown okay okay so we are going to need this uh, this expression let me erase everything and I just keep this on the side the, the equality that we just proved k sub c comma d composed with p is equal to k a comma b okay now Now, I uh, write this expression of product F star G star H at S according to the product. The definition of product is going to be F of 2S when S lies between 0 and 1 half and is equal to g star h at 2s minus 1 when s lies between 1 half and 1. Okay. But from the definition of product, again we can write g star h 2s minus 1 as g of 4s minus 2 which is the same as 2 times 2s minus 1 and this is the case when 2s minus 1 lies between 0 and 1 half and is equal to h of 2 times 2s minus 1 minus 1 which is 4s minus 3 when 2s minus 1 lies between 1 half and 1. Okay, so we we, we, we simplify, or we, we put the inequalities in terms of s to have uh, g of 4s minus 2 when s is between 1 half and 3 fourth and is equal to h of 4s minus 3 when s is between 3 fourth and 1 okay all right so say that we have 2s minus 1 between 0 and um, 1 half uh, by adding 1 to everywhere we get 1 is less than or equal to 2s is less than or equal to 1 half plus 1 which is 3 over 2 then dividing uh, everything by 2 we get 1 half is less than or equal to s is less than or equal to 3 fourth okay this is how we get it similarly we can get this one as well okay okay so, um, so combining uh, this expression with 
with this expression we have the following expression f star g star h at s is going to be equal to f of 2s when s is in this interval 0 to 1 half is equal to g of 4s minus 2 when s belongs to this interval 1 half and 3 over 4 and this is equal to h of 4s minus 3 when s belongs to this interval 3 fourth and 1 okay good now let me erase everything else on at the top we have f of 2s here okay so um now uh, remember the expression of kab or kcd um so i i i will write it for you here if you don't uh, remember k uh, ab or kcd is equal to is equal to f composed with p twiddle 0 comma c at s when s is in this interval is equal to g composed with p twiddle c comma d at s when s is in this closed interval is equal to h composed with p twiddle Okay, so let me write them to be C and D because I'm just I'm writing K C D okay and this is P twiddle D one P twiddle D one at S when S lies in the interval D one okay so this is the formula for KCD okay so um, now if I um, so uh, I choose C to be one half and D to be 3 over 4 okay to find k one half comma three over four okay which is equal to okay um, so this guy evaluated at s is equal to f composed with p twiddle 0 comma 1 half at s when s lies between 0 and 1 half since we have chosen c to be 1 half and this is equal to g composed with p twiddle 1 half 3 over 4 evaluated at s when s belongs to this interval one of one half and three fourth right our d is three fourth and this is equal to h composed with p twiddle what is d three over four comma one evaluated at s when s belongs to this interval from three over four to one okay now uh, check immediately that f of f of p twiddle 0 comma 1 half evaluated at s okay um, is equal to 
So we use these formulas for t p twiddle. Okay, remember the uh, p twiddle formula. P twiddle of zero comma uh, c at s is equal to one over c times s p twiddle c comma d at s is equal to 1 over d minus c times s minus d minus c is in the denominator and c is here in the numerator and p twiddle d comma 1 at s is equal to s over 1 minus d minus 1 minus d again in the denominator and d is in the numerator okay so this formula so um, uh, which tells us that f of p twiddle 0 1 half is is um, so our c is 1 half right so this is going to be 1 over 1 over 2 s which is f of twice s right this is the case when s is between 0 and 1 half now g of p twiddle 1 half comma 3 fourth at s is going to be equal to g of so i use this formula now to get 1 over 3 fourth minus 1 half minus 1 half divided by 3 fourth minus 1 half to get g of 4s minus 2 when s belongs to this interval from one half to three fourth. Okay. Similarly, h of p twiddle three fourth to one at s is equal to h of s divided by one minus three over four minus three over four divided by one minus three over four. And this is nothing but h of 4s minus 3 when s is in this interval from 3 fourth to 1. Okay. So we plug in these expressions back here to obtain this. Okay. So we, we thus find that f star g star h is equal to k sub 1 half comma 3 over 4 okay now so you 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 exactly follow the same procedure that we followed right now to find that f star g star h is equal to k sub one fourth comma one half so in this case so in the formula of KCD, you have to plug in C to be equal to one fourth and D to be equal to one half. Okay, and then you can show that exactly the same way that F star G star H is equal to K sub one fourth comma one half. Okay, so so th these are the two important things we see that we we can show the 
the the product between three paths using this triple product by choosing different a and b so this was one thing now one important thing uh, the map Uh, uh, P from I to itself defined earlier remember that we defined the map P from I to itself is, is a path in I with the initial point P zero to be equal to one and the final point p1 to be equal to one okay so this is how if you don't remember this was the piecewise definition of p of s p zero comma a at s when s is between zero and a is equal to P A comma B at S when S is between A and B and P B comma one S when S is between B and one. This is how I defined it, and we also knew that uh, P zero comma A at zero is equal to zero, and P uh, sorry. This is P B comma one, okay, and P B comma one at one is equal to is equal to one, so that P zero is equal to one and P one is equal to one, okay, good. So this is a path in I from the point. from the point 0 to 1. I made a mistake again in the lecture note. It has to be 0, right? It has to be 0. On the other hand, on the other hand, the identity map from I to itself defined by I S is equal to S for all S in I is is also a path in I. Okay. With the same initial and final point. With the same initial and final points that is i0 is equal to 0 and i1 is equal to 1 okay now p from I cross I to I defined by P S comma T to be equal to 1 minus T times P of S plus T times I of S for all st in i is a path homotopy between p e and i okay so you, you can immediately check it the way we did it before okay so i'm not going to do it so plugging in t equal to 0 and plugging in s equal to 0 you can check it 
that this is a path homotopy between these two paths. So what we have shown is that P is path homotopic to I, the P, P defined in this way. Okay. So hence by the key facts introduced in the beginning of the proof, okay, Um, by the key facts, facts, KCD composed with P, okay, um, P is a map, this big P is a map, remember that there are two P's, one is the big P and the other one is small P, defined by this expression, okay. So, um, big P is a map from I cross I to I, and KCD is a path, right, in X. So, KCD is a map from I to X. So, KCD composed with P is a map from I cross I to X, okay? And by the key facts introduced earlier, KCD composed with P is going to be, is a path homotopy, homotopy in X between between KCD composed with P, small p, and KC comma D composed with I. Okay, so let me erase these things. I don't need them anymore. So we just showed that K, C, comma, D composed with big P is a path homotopy between K, C, comma, D composed with small p and K, C, D composed with I is just K, C, D. But we know that we earlier, earlier we have shown that KCD composed with, with small p is nothing but KAB, right? So KCD composed with p is a path homotopy between KAB and KCD. Okay. Okay. So uh, we uh, for for the choice of the values of A to be equal to one half. to be equal to 3 fourth we, we see that we satisfy this right 0 is less than 1 half 1 half is less than 3 fourth and 3 fourth is less than 1 okay and we also we now choose C to be 1 fourth and D to be 1 half so that we also satisfy the Inequality, 0 is less than 1 fourth, and 1 fourth is less than 1 half, and 1 half is less than 1. Okay? So, so that we have K 1 half comma 3 fourth is path homotopic to K 1 fourth
one half. Which means that, but we have shown that um, this is equal to this is equal to f star g star h and we 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 say that it can be proved in the same way that this is equal to f star g star h okay which means that this path is path homotopic to this path okay which means that they belong to the same class which means that the path f star g star h and the path f star g star h are the same class okay and you know uh, now it's um, it follows that this is equal to from the well definedness of the product uh, between homotopic classes of paths it follows that this is equal to f star uh, the class of f star the class of uh, g star h is equal to equal to the class of f star g star the class of h okay which means that uh, the class of f star the class of G star the class of H is the same as the class of F star class of G and then star class of H okay so this is how we prove associativity okay so this is the end of the first lecture. Uh, in the second lecture, we will uh, define the fundamental group and uh, study its various properties. Thank you for attending the long first lecture.